also used by other ancient cultures. Chinese astronomers call Mars the fire star. a similar landmass because water covers about 70% of Earth's surface. The surface gravity of Mars is about 37%. The gravity found on Earth. This means that on Mars you could in theory jump three times higher than you could on Earth. Only 16 of the 39 Mars missions successful, beginning with the USSR's Marsnik 1, which was launched in 1960. 39 orbiters, landers, and rovers have been to Mars, but only 16 of those missions were a success. In 2016, Europe's EXO search the planet for signs of Martian life, as well as study the surface and terrain of the planet, and map potential environmental hazards to future manned missions to Mars. Pieces of Mars have been found on Earth. It is believed trace amounts of the Martian atmosphere were within meteorites that the planet ejected. These meteorites then orbited the solar system for millions of years amongst the other objects and solar debris before eventually entering the Earth's atmosphere and crashing to the ground. study of this material has allowed scientists to discover more about Mars before launching space missions. Mars was once believed to be home to intelligent life. This came from the discovery of lines or grooves in the surface called canali by Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli. were not naturally occurring and were proof of intelligent life. However, these were later shown to be an optical illusion. The tallest mountain known in the solar system is on Mars. Olympus Mons is a 21 kilometer high and 600 kilometer diameter shield volcano that was 
was formed billions of years ago. Scientists have found a lot of recent evidence of volcanic lava, which suggests Olympus Mons may still be active. It is the second highest mountain in the entire solar system, topped only by the Rhea Silvia Central Peak on the asteroid Vesta, which is 22 kilometers high. Mars experiences dust, huge dust storms, the largest in our solar system. This is due to the elliptical shape of the planet's orbit path around the sun. This oval-shaped orbit results in fierce dust storms that cover the entire planet and can last for many months. The sun looks about half its size. Half it does. The sun looks about half its size, as it does from Earth when seen from Mars. When Mars is closest to the sun in its orbit, the southern hemisphere points toward the sun, and this causes a very short but fierce hot, fiercely hot summer. In the north, it experiences a brief but cold winter. When the planet is far farthest from the sun, experiences a long and mild summer because the northern hemisphere points towards the sun. This is compared with a cold and lengthy winter in the south. With the exception of Earth, Mars is the most hospitable to life. A number of space missions are planning for the next decade. Further, to further increase our understanding of Mars, and when it has the potential for extraterrestrial life, as well as whether it may be a viable planet for a colony. Martians, also known as extraterrestrials from Mars, are a common character in science fiction books. orbit radius of 227,840,000 kilometers. Mars is the only other planet besides Earth that has polar ice caps. The northern cap is called the Planum Boreum, with Planum Austral as in the south. Water ice has also been found under the Martian caps. has seasons like Earth, but they last twice as long. This is because Mars is tilted on its axis by about 25.19 degrees, which is similar to the axial tilt of the Earth, 22.5 degrees. The orbit of Mars is the most eccentric circular orbit path of the planets. Mars does not have a magnetic field, although there are some scientists that believe it did have a magnetic field somewhere around 4 billion years ago. Um, I think that's all for the facts, but I'm going to read about Mars's atmosphere. The composition of Mars's atmosphere is extremely similar to Venus's. 
one of the least hospitable atmospheres in all of the solar system. The main component in both atmospheres is carbon dioxide, 95% for Mars and 97% for Venus. Yet, a runaway greenhouse effect has taken hold of Venus, producing temperatures in excess of 480 degrees Celsius. never exceed 20 degrees Celsius. Thus, something other than the composition is at work. The huge difference lies in the density of the two atmospheres. Whereas Venus' atmosphere is exceedingly thick, Mars is quite thin. Simply put, Mars would resemble Venus if it possessed a thicker atmosphere. Additionally, with such a thin atmosphere, the resulting atmospheric pressure is only about 1% of that found at sea level on Earth. That is the equivalent pressure found at 35 km above the Earth's atmosphere, or above the Earth's surface. One of the long-standing of research regarding the Martian atmosphere is its <coughs> impact on the presence of liquid water. What the research has shown is that even though the polar caps possess frozen water and the air contains water vapor, as a result of the freezing temperatures and low pressure caused by the weak atmosphere, it is not possible on the planet's surface. However, evidence provided by a planetary mission by planetary missions suggests that liquid water does exist one meter below the planet's surface. Surprisingly, despite the thin atmosphere, Mars experiences weather patterns. The primary form of this weather consists of winds with other Stations. Excuse me. With other manifestations that include dust, storms, frost, and fog. As a result of this weather, some erosion has been seen to take place at particular locations on the planet's surface. As a note on the Martian atmosphere, leading theories claim that it been dense enough to support large oceans of water. However, through some means in the planet's past, the atmosphere was drastically altered. One popular explanation for this change is that Mars was struck by a large body, and in the process, a large portion of its atmosphere was ejected into space. second Mars video and talk about its surface and some other things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe.